How are you all? I hope you'll fit in fine and I'm too fit in fine. Now I welcome you in this online session of the 9th standard English where the lesson which we started in the earlier previous lecture of mine will be going to the next further level. Now as per the lesson you can read the title of the lesson that is the lost child <clears throat> means somebody is there who is about to lose or who is about to lost in somewhere uh, like the crowd. So if you go more further this chapter is written by Mulkraj Anand and also if you talk about the theories the theories of the concept in this chapter is depending over the very good jolly mood starting phrase of the lesson where a baby boy I'm just taking a recap my dear student this is the part number two of the lecture. I made you understand in the part number one the previous lecture in which I also cleared the introduction and concept of the basic uh, main theories about this lesson in the starting phrase so this is the part number two so if I talk about a happy and excited boy is going inside the fair and before he could go and reach inside the fair he is actually finding almost everything uh, present in his way like the box, dove, queen of the dove and then he is going near to the well, he is catching the butterflies also, dragonflies to here and he is going with his parents, he is going by the walk, by the mustard field to the uh, village beneath then he is going from the way path of the valley side road uh, uh, you can say that it's like a footpath also and then he is trying to go with his parents now see so what is happening Okay, now the story will be going more further and in the more uh, in the deeper way if I talk about the story see as per I have written here a child goes to a fair with his parents as it is written in the textbook here he is happy and excited too very much excited and he wants the sweets and the toys too here now the sweets and toys are displayed there there means at the shop counter in the fair but he is if I talk about <coughs> but his parents okay don't buy them for him and then a time comes where comes when someone is actually refer, uh, referring that all the things but he is refusing see when the time comes when he refuses all the things which is offered by someone else so if you talk about why he refused the thing there is something uh, emotional or there is something a twist in the story also so let's see that out here so I'll start the story in the continuity so as they neared the villages the child was very happy they could see many other footpaths full of the things okay you can see in the textbook here and as they went more for the con conserving uh, we can say uh, going towards the whirlpool street they went directly into the fair and at once he felt like fascinating confusion of the crowd toys and many more things in the fair as you know that the fair is very well known for its crowd sweets uh, rides and also for the uh, people who are wearing the different color of the dresses and many more things there and there is always some of the noises coming from everywhere whether it's a noise of giggling laughing shouting crying or we can say whistling sound many more sounds are there and the speakers too so my dear students what happened when he entered in the crowd along with his parents he saw the sweet shop or he saw the sweet meat seller hawk there it means the gulab jamun wala he came there and burfi also as burfi was his favorite uh, the we can say sweet we all are having the sweets favorite and burfi was his favorite i don't know what is your favorite but rasgulla is my favorite if i talk about that so he was uh, he was looking to the decorative uh, structure of the sweets and therefore uh, with the leaves of gold and silver plated here and there with the sweets and he was feeling very very interested towards eating that kind of things but he was not allowed here so he slowly murmured that i want burfi and his dad means uh, like he is not allowing him to eat burfi so he headed more forward and then a flower seller hogged with a garland of a gulmohar and other flower and he was smelling the flower he was saying wow what a flower is there it's so smell so nice it is giving me a fragrance of beauty and the fragrance of uh, the scent also so he was about to wish to buy the flowers also a garland of flower but he was not allowed so again he moved out okay and now what is happening a man stood holding a pillar with the generally and uh, you can say balloon a rainbow color of the balloon you know the balloons 
almost we try to buy the balloons why because balloons are one of the thing which we generally like to play with when we are a small child or when we are in the childhood days so rainbow color of the balloon all the colors were there and the child was simply carried away by the balloons or we can say by the rainbow glory of the silken balloons so but he will know that parents will like he they he will uh, he will be not allowed in by the parents so he moved on and as far as school he could go he found the toys also and like he was about to try to ask about the balloons and toys but he remembered something like mother or the father will say you are too old for the toys uh, like you are not a small child so let's go and uh, don't see about the toys here so now my dear child my dear student see moving further this child went more and more on and what he found there he found a snake charmer finally he found something there now when he found the snake charmer you might have known about the snake charmers what is happening whenever the snake charmers are making their uh, music towards the snake snake is coming out coiled looped snake like black cobra black mamba they will come out and then a snake charmer stood playing a flute in the tune of the snake music you know the snake music nagin music is there so in the flute tune and gracefully bent it like a neck of a swan while the music was stolen into the invisible ears of the snake it means that snake was listening the music which was not visible in the story neither in the reality so the snake was listening to music and the snake came out slowly and slowly so he walked further to watch the snake show and literally once again he was somehow the child went towards the snake charmer but somehow he was not feeling that much happy because he needed still the toys and he needed he needed still the balloons burfis and many more things here so he was thinking about that same thing here ripening with the invisible ears snake was coming out and moving the body like a waterfall what a nice ear the child went towards the snake charmer he said that he saw the show also but knowingly his parents were forbidden him he was enjoying the show and then he hear the chorus music of the snake uh, uh, the snake charmer flute the people and many more thing so snake charmer played that and the father proceeded and the mother proceeded more further there was a roundabout in the full swing roundabout it was a joy ride so it was a roundabout in the full swing now what he did you know generally he was generally trying to go and uh, sit inside the roundabout but he needed to ask to the parents that well i should go in the roundabout or not here so away wheeling in the motion men and women they all were shouting and they were giggling they were laughing they were crying also sometime like they were enjoying too much you know whenever we see any ride we want to go in that so this child was also fascinated with that kind of rides here and as soon as further he went there he saw that okay it was very fantastic it is very beautiful and so here the child watched them intensely like he was so carried away from that roundabout so when he watched that intensely uh, he made a bold request what he made the request he made the request i want to go in the roundabout please dad mother please allow me to go there now when he requested that see my dear student there is a something something very wrong going to come in the story or very wrong turn is going to come in the story when he generally said that i want to go there there was no any reply now when there was no any reply he was thinking that maybe i could request once again then they could ask me or they could tell me that ha huh, you can go there so <clears throat> when he is making again reply again there is no reply whenever he is asking there is no reply they were not there and they went ahead of him so he turned here and there looked all the sides and there were not even the essence or we can say any step of their parents of his parents there was no one like his parent and so he looked behind there was no sign of them it means that he was now lost he was lost he was very panicked at that time a full deep cry arose from his dry throat and he cried everywhere that suddenly jerking off with the other bodies ran here and there stood here and there and he found uh, himself all alone in the crowd though it was crowd filled with the people but he found himself with the nobody he was all alone in the crowd he crowd he cried loudly and loudly mummy and papa means he cried like father and mother and somehow we can say that the cried now the crying is turning into the sobs it means that very deep cry and the tears running with the uh, all alone with the with your cheeks 
and he was becoming so red with the fish because he was now very he was very very tensioned at that time he was very very worried about that so he tried to look intensively among the patches of the bright yellow clothes like his mom and dad wore the bright yellow cloth but there was no sign of him he ran here and there he found nobody there so he went to and fro also he went hither and thither here and there he went there also nobody was there so at that time he was thinking that he is now lost apart see my dear students uh, whenever we are going in the fair or the festival we need to understand if we are child or if we are very small our parents first of all should take care of us and if they are unable to take care of us we need to go and meet any police uncle or police auntie if she is standing nearby that and we could request them to make us go back to our home or they should call our parents because they are having all the powers of the police system so you should try that so here uh, having run to and fro in the rage of running while he found nowhere about his parents green grass he could see here and there he could see couples of uh, couple talking here and there people laughing enjoying and uh, like he was asked he was just crying about the father the mother i want my father i want my mother so now the boy is very very uh, somehow feeling lonely and he needs someone who can help him out here so but there was no shine of the father and the mother also as i said you who seems looking towards like his father and mother he went to two three people also but they were not his father and mother so his turban also came out he became dirty in the clothes and he was not worrying about the turban neither about the clothes and he was just running here and there and he found the motor's eye means he found some heavy man heavy bone man coming towards him pushing him back in the crowd and again he tried to struggle to come out from that crowd as he found all the man looking like murderous eye he was so scared see he was a little boy is that if i can tell you about the story it just is a little boy and he is not knowing about the world he is just knowing about his parents and he is thinking that this all people are the criminals and they will catch me and they will take they will generally take me so in this theory we can say that this lesson is whole leading with the time which is changing from the first grade of the story to the second interval of the story also because my dear students in the second interval the boy is alone and he is so emotionally attacked uh, attacked by his own theories about his parents and now he's crying very loudly so therefore there was no sign of the parents here and what happened my dear child see he was actually trying and crying and making some sound and therefore he was running here and there he found nobody then what what is happening then when he was crying very very loudly he tried his loudest sound to cry trying the loudest sound so that his parents could hear him and they could come here he ran quickly again and again but he found nothing every little inch of the space there was filled with the people lingering with the people and he was also uh, we can say that lingering with the name and the words like father and mother and the flashing murderous eye were looking towards him means the other men were looking like the murderous eye towards him he was thinking like that so in this story see what is happening a man is somehow uh, a, a man is coming near to him he is a very good man and we can say that he is he is trying to make this child comfortable so now a man is coming okay in the struggling crowd heard his cry after after hearing his cry he came there and stopping with a great difficulty lifted him up in his arm like in this in this arm okay in his arms and he asked him how do you get here my child tum yahan kaise pahunche what is the name whose baby you are who is your father who is your mother he is asking and the man asked him very clearly about his parents about the mass of that but the child was not giving any reply just he was crying father and mother i want my father i want my mother the man tried to soothe him now now the man understood that i am unable to make this child feel very happy so let me do something let me take him to the meat wala uh, the hawker shop where i can make him to eat gulab jamun or jalebis or let me make him to go with a roundabout so the man is asking him see the man is asking him that how do you get here and he is giving no reply so the man trying to soothe him he said that let me take you to the sweet shop so will you have a sweet and the boy is crying by saying no then the man is saying very gently he is asking very gently means very very peacefully he is asking that uh, will you have a ride on horse 
and the he gently asked approaching the baby and the child's throat tore more into you can say thousand thrills very louder thrill and what he said sobbing only shouted the boy i want my mother i want my father he was just shouting because he knew that now horse ride sweet snake charmer garland balloon is none of his use he only needs is that about his dad so he is telling that you know i just want my mother i want my father so here yeah, the man was trying to make him convinced now the baby boy or the child is not comfortable with this strange person but the strange person was a good man and he is trying to make him very very clear to uh, like offer him all the rights and many more things also so literally what happened my dear kids see here yeah, the man headed towards the place where he found the snake charmer and he said that ki okay listen to that music my dear child the snake charmer is playing so nice music child he pleaded he pleaded means he requested the man means man is requesting to the child but we can say that the child shut his ears very loudly we can say he is shouting loudly and he is shutting your ears and he is telling that i want my mother i want my father and he was very very attached to that man that he was not leaving that man also he was in his arms and the shoulder so now the man thought that maybe the boy could be liking the balloon so let me take to the balloon so when he took to the balloon again the boy turned his face and started to cry i want my mother i want my father so in this case of theory again we can say that the child was somehow crying and crying and more crying so we can say that man still trying to make the child happy by looking the flower sellers making him look do you want a garland my dear child he said do you want to get a garland ek mala le do aapke liye you want to wear in the neck and the boy is saying no i want my mother i want my mother and i want my father i don't need anything here so here we can say that the boy is now not needing anything see my dear students we can understand that two concept of the story the first concept where we can say that the boy is uh, somehow relating with all the fascinating things here but the second concept when he is he is aparted from his parents and now he is being carried away with the crowd and his he has generally got by a person who is a good man now the name is not given in the lesson he may be the mulk raj anand we can say that who wrote this lesson but when he is offering everything to the boy the boy is refusing everything it means that in our life the most and basic thing which we don't remember or which we which we don't realize is our parents that is just our parents nothing else more than parents sometimes you know the boys and girls are making some request or making some bold request to the parents for the bikes car mobile phone uh, smart pcs and all but actually they should understand the condition of the parents because as they have the parent parents are the main basic thing of their own life which they needed to take them the gadgets the vehicles the property is not the thing which we want because when we are separated from our parents then we know what is the value of the parents so my dear students this lecture is ending here part 2 and uh, this was a part 2 here i hope you'll also respect your parents and whenever you'll go with the parents you will not make yourself lost anywhere either uh, or neither and if you are going to the uh, fair or any marketplace with your small brother sister or the any baby is small you please take care of that because losing hand or uh, making more call on the phone can lose that child also where he or she could be very very troubled so please take care of yourself and your young ones also this lecture was till here only we'll start a new chapter in the next session so till then you just revise this lecture and keep surety about all the answers of the lecture also take care and bye bye